Hello everyone, so today I'm going to review a requested cushion foundation from one of my viewers or subscribers so it's a cushion from Pony Effect so I I didn't really knew about this not until someone requested it to me because I think I stopped browsing about makeup for long for a long time now mostly I base or I concentrate on lipsticks but when someone requested this to me I tried to look it up and waited when there was promotion in your style and yeah now I got it it's the pony effect glow stick cushion foundation so she specifically asked for shade tan so I can she will see how it looks I think on her maybe you have the same skin tone so yeah I hope you would find this video helpful so it comes with a very pretty box like the usual pony effect uh, cushion box like with the iridescent effect and it comes with a refill and yeah i think i already reviewed a cushion foundation from pony effect before i will link it here so you will see how it looks and how i felt about it so this packaging is really a pretty not really iridescent like a pink purple kind of packaging that you can even use as a mirror because it's reflex or it has like a mirror effect and the shape of the cushion is like the usual shape of a pony effect cushion the sponge is a bit different than the other one that i had those were more like darker cushion but this i think this cushion is more like for, for like giving glue to the skin because i noticed in korea they produce different kinds of cushion depends on if you want a matte um gluey or high coverage things like that so that's why i think they made a different cushion or applicator for this yeah so now you will see how it looks on my skin how i felt with my first application and yeah how it goes so yeah here is my review now we will try the cushion so here is the puff but it has like a mirror you need to remove the the cover but it so let's see how so this is how it looks like it, I feel like it will match me pretty good because I think I had to I had done before but we will sorry should. if you hear a lot of noises outside and inside because it's locked down here and yeah a lot of people are outside because it's a nice weather so excuse for that and my husband is also at home so I just applied my skincare, the normal skincare, but I will not apply sunscreen or primer today because I will just stay inside anyway, so it's not really important. So we try. So I just pressed. It looks a bit dark, but we shall see. So it feels really cooling. So this is only... I don't see good for a moment. Oh my, it looks so good. So my skin looks really dry because I don't think I drink enough water and I don't sleep early nowadays. So my skin is not really good. but it really gives a nice glow like you know what you see with how Korean makeup looks like this is how I imagine it to be I'm happy it really looks good on me I think this really matches me good or a bit dark so this is only one layer and this is the side like I think the other side also had like redness like this but I think for a first layer it colored really well so that is how it looks so now I will apply the other side as well especially when it's still new don't press it so hard because you will the product will overflow So this is how it looks like but here in the nose it's like it's a bit annoying mm. 
hoe. If you see that gun, it covered a bit, but I think my face a bit lighter than my neck or a bit greenish. So if I look at it now, my nose area is a bit powdery looking. It's not really looking nice. But I think because of the state of my skin, it's not really that good, no? But the glow is there. I feel like it's light, but um, yeah, I think like here, this already like forming from the dry patches and on my human nose. So yeah, and then I will apply a second layer just to cover like the redness more. Let's see if the eye area is going to be covered so this is how it looks like when applied another layer so it's really nice i think i need to set this because it's too glowy so this here is covered good the eyes i feel like it's not really it's still dark another one don't think it's a good idea <laughs> idea but just to look yeah the nose i don't like how it looks it's yeah you really see like you have a powder on or like a foundation on so I think this is really medium to full cover coverage. So yeah, and I will finish my makeup and let's see how it looks after I'm done with all my makeup. I decided to apply a powder on my face because it was a bit too glowy for me. It's not a mattifying powder. This is the powder from Hourglass. They are two finishing powders that I combine that I normally apply every after concealer or foundation. So it's not that shiny or glowy on my face so this is how it looks with powder on i feel like this shade is a bit grayish on me if you agree or not what do you think so this is how it looks after i apply my makeup on as you can see you still see the dry patches on my nose it looks a bit heavy here that's how it looks so for me it's okay now i put i will not put uh, normally i will apply mattifying powder but i will not do that now but yeah it's the nose area when i apply the um the highlighter it's a bit okay now but if you see that there yeah some like here is already yeah it doesn't really cover good so if you want coverage i think you need co concealer and not this alone so what application i noticed that there's like a build up on my eye area but after i apply the eyeshadow it is gone so if you don't apply eyeshadow you need to set it with powder or else you will see like a like um, white marks on the eyelids or that is not really nice to look at so you just need to set it with a powder this powder. cushion so it's the Mimi box pony effect glow stay cushion so it has three colors so the one i have now is the darkest so that is the tan and they have i think shade i need to look shade porcelain this uh, this ivory and vanilla neutral beige i'm not sure if i would already f um, fit neutral beige i haven't tried that yet i always order like the darkest shade with cushion foundations anyway so they said the cushion foundation with buildable coverage to blur blemishes even blur blemishes i don't think it blurred my blemishes a bit but not that much if you see that there even out skin tone and create a radiant finish yeah the even out skin tone i think i agree with that and yeah it really gives a radiant as you saw earlier finish so fitted with spf 50 
plus PA plus 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 quadruple I think the protect skin from UV and UVB rays which is good as well as blooming powder to control oil production and set base makeup in place so they have a control oil production so we will see later but though it's already shiny but normally I'm not um, oily skin type but I think during summertime when I'm out it, I would really see if it really works like that so and set base makeup in place i think i needed the powder to set it really good because around my nose I, it it looks like it was running so i didn't like how it looked so a cushion foundation that imparts healthy regions along with a glam glow to the skin which is good buildable foundation that blurs blemishes and even skin tone to create a natural glowing finish so these are the benefits so the spf 50 plus and yeah okay that's good I bought it at YesStyle um, and this is and it comes with a refill I think I paid um, now it's 25 euros 7 cents so but I am a gold member and I had like a coupon when I reached a certain amount and I used yeah I think so I had really a lot of um, discount so it really depends when you're gonna buy it when you get it so maybe wait till i think every time there's like a promotion in every brand in your style so you just wait till you get like promotion or use like the promo codes and like the um, discount codes that they offer sometimes i will link it down below uh, the link where you can order it in your style so i will check in later how it looks after a few hours and during the night and i will see and you will see if it will have like a flashback when I take a picture with flash so for now this is how it looks so yeah I will tell you how I feel later and yeah my thoughts so this is how it looks like after three hours on my face so yes you can see it's you really see like I have cushion on but it's it's a bit heavy looking compared to like I only use a concealer and powder but that's how it looks it really looks so glowy on my skin i love the effect of this cushion although some parts there's a bit like powdery looking but it's not really a problem for me this is how it looks after six hours so this is around 10 pm and yeah the some parts are already a bit gone because i touch my face every now and then and some parts are already fading but some parts i see like there's really like you see like the powders are heavy looking and like I see like they are in in cluster like this side of my mouth like the side part of my mouth those look so powdery in that side I think they settle on my dry patches but yeah this is how it looks when there is a flash on with my camera it doesn't have a flashback which is really good I don't really like see weird white patches and this is how it looks without the flash so it really photographs beautifully so you don't need to worry about that that was my review over my bone effect glow stay cushion foundation i hope it was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and i hope you consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and yeah i hope i'll see you in my next one bye